Well, welcome back to my channel, you guys. If you are not subscribed, what you doing? Hit that subscribe button and go follow me along on Instagram and TikTok. I post over there all the time. Um, but let's jump into the video because I have been dying for this. And this is not sponsored. This is a total non-biased review of Almond Cow's whole process. And if you don't know what they are, basically you make your own plant-based milk at home. And this is what got me started. So I was on TikTok as usual, and there's this TikTok video talking about like, what's in your almond milk? And I have always just gotten this almond milk right here. It's organic, um, unsweetened vanilla. And they started going through the list and I never really, it never really dawned on me, right? Organic almond milk, like almond milk, organic. That's it, right? <laughs> So, but no, this is the list of ingredients and I'll pop them up right here. But you go through organic almond milk and then salt, vitamins, minerals, and then you have bean gum, you have natural flavors, which if you don't know what a natural flavor is, basically, legally, if the first ingredient is a natural flavor, let's just say a vanilla or a cinnamon, they can put up, I think it's like 30 to 50 ingredients afterwards and they don't have to disclose what those ingredients are. So most likely it's chemical. So when you see a natural flavor, it's not really a natural flavor. It's a whole thing of chemicals in it. Um, sunflower, like there's just so much stuff. And I'm, and I'm like, whoa, almond milk doesn't need to be 20 million things. It just needs to be almonds and water. If you want to sweeten it, dates, vanilla, salt, things like that. So I'm excited to try this out and see how I like it. Um, I got a big bag of organic almonds. I actually got two bags from them and then also coconut. So you can make coconut milk and then I got some whole grain organic oats. So you can make oat milk and I love oat milk in like my chai teas and matchas. It just makes it super creamy. And then they also came with a super cute little glass jar. So I'm gonna open this up and show you guys and see how I like it. Also, by the way, hopefully you're not sick of this because I'm not. I genuinely love Built Bar so much and you see them a lot in my vlogs and I just I just want everyone to try one because they're so stupid good. I've always said my favorite is the chocolate coconut brownie. Honey, honey. If you have not used my code and tried it, like, what are you doing? This tastes like heaven. When I get that mid sweet snack around like three o'clock every day, I have a built bar. You bite into this one and it's like this coconut creamy and then you have brownie chunks on it. But let me tell you, one thing I hate about built bars is they launch like the best flavor ever for only a couple days and then they go away. And then sometimes you don't know if they're gonna come back unless they're like high demand. So I bought a few boxes of coconut brownie. They went away, super bummed, because legit, this is probably my top flavor, and then like the raspberry cheesecake and then the coconut cream. Um, but I got word that it's coming back on April 20th to April 23rd. They're selling it again, and I'm not kidding. I probably will buy four or five boxes because it's my favorite bar ever, ever. Love it. Hat K10 gets you 10% off if you wanna try it. Hey. Let's jump into it. All right, so today I'm gonna do the almonds. Um, they have some great recipes on their Instagram. If you wanna do like a cashew almond or coconut, um, cashew, just a lot of fun, different things. So this is an instruction guide. And then the cord. Their packaging is actually super cute. First initial, I like how small it is. I don't know why, but I was thinking it was gonna be a lot, lot bigger. So it says fill basket to one cup line. This is more difficult than it used to be. There we go, find a freaking lean. that's a cup. Oh, that's all it takes? That's it? I feel like it would take a lot more. Mm. It's a 
genommen. Okay. Fill with water between minimum and max line. What's this little guy for? I gotta fill this up with filter water. Hold on. Okay. Oh, so I guess after I'm done making the milk, you can cook this right here while I'm pouring the cup and it's like not all messy. That's super smart actually. Then fill up water, which I did, and I did the max because I use almond milk every single, ooh, there's just a little too much. Okay, perfect. I use almond milk every single day. Oh, and you can make pulp. You can make stuff from the pulp, which is really cool. You can make pancakes. Anyways, I'm gonna attach the top. Woo! Turn green. Press the cow if the green light is flashing. The cow is still working. Ooh, fancy. Okay. Oh. You guys, this just made so much almond milk. Okay, so here's the collector. That's so convenient. And then I can, I'm already loving this so much. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. I am so excited to try this. Okay, wait, this is like the best thing that's ever happened to me. That's how you know you're old when you just like get so excited about almond milk. Okay, here's the true test. I need to taste it because I've been using that other almond milk legit for 10 years. I've never used another almond milk before. By the way, these are the best mug clock glasses. I'll link them below. Stop. 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 Tastes exactly like almonds. It's like creamy. This is amazing. Okay. Oh wait, there's like a, this is, okay. So this bag right here will make nine batches and it says you can use one cup of almonds, fourth a teaspoon of salt, some vanilla extract and maple syrup if you want or dates. So I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla and salt. If you wanted to add all this ingredients, you're supposed to add it to the almond cow, but it's a fourth teaspoon of salt, so mm, that looks like a fourth a teaspoon. And then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I honestly just like it the way it is right now, but this, I'm gonna, that looks like a teaspoon. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited! I love healthy things. Mm. Add the vanilla and salt. It makes it even better. Okay, 10 out of 10. I would recommend this 100%. I'm so stoked about this. You guys, let me reach, I'm gonna reach out to Almond Cow to see if they will give a discount for you guys and if they will I will link it right down below and I'll put it up on here if you want to try it because this is amazing this is 100% worth it and I can't believe that I got this much milk out of only one cup 10 out of 10 so we just made this a day or two ago and it's already basically gone it's coconut and then half some cashews dates vanilla and salt and it's so freaking good but anyways, um, if you guys want to try it, I have that code for you guys. And guys, I hope you guys love this video and make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind.